That's God awesome. God bless you, man. I I'm very encouraged. Yeah. How long have you been working for uh, the ambulance system there? 1980s. Wow, man. Long time. Oh, and Daytona? The whole county. Wow. Wow. This is always our busy season between the spring breakers and the bikes. So you see, you see the worst of the worst, man. Yeah, we do. Especially the uh, motorcycle fatalities and stuff like that. We've already had one. Huh? We've probably already had four or five people that have been killed. Are you serious? Yeah. Over this last week? Just, yeah, just this week. Wow. I said it's because they're not Was that alcohol? Them. Well, no. yeah, that always... And no, and no helmets? And no helmets. They want that freedom until the head hits the pavement, and most of them will walk away. Wow. People don't, they, they, you know, they don't, they don't see it sometimes. No, you know, we preach at FIU that bridge that fell down killed eight, ten yeah. people. That's yeah. Awesome. So. You do preach there? All the time. That's some of my favorite campuses to preach. A lot of Christians on that campus. Is it really? Yeah. So, you know, God's working. He's using these tragedies, you know, soften hearts up. To keep that campus in prayer, you know, because we plan on going back there pretty quickly. To encourage those students, seek the Lord, you know, and just be, 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 be. Yeah, especially, you know, the field that I work in because everybody thinks they got tomorrow, but, you know, you know the Bible says today is the day, now is the day of salvation. You don't know, you know, every one of our guests is already appointed by God, but these people, they go out, they think they've got um, forever to live, and then we end up going out and picking up young kids all the time. And, you know, we end up taking them off to the morgue and stuff like that. Wow. And I wish that some of these people like this could see what we see and show that nobody is guaranteed tomorrow. And, you know, and the majority of the people that end up dying are in hell right now. Anyway. I know. I'm just glad that you guys are out here doing this. God bless you. I just wanted to come. I saw you when I drove by. And I said, I'm going to come out and say hi to Ian. Bless you, man. I appreciate you. God bless, bless you. you what you're doing. Mighty work, brother. Bless okay. you, man. Have a good night. All right, too, man. Thank you. This guy's one of the head of the ambulance. Um, he, run, he, he helps run all the ambulances in this county. He's a born-again Christian. He follows our channel. He said oh, yeah? four people have already died at Bike Week because of uh, no helmets, racing their bikes. Says they pick up young people all the time during this time of year on spring break, dead. He said he wishes that these people, these bar owners would know this and that these young people would see this. Stop living like the devil! Then stop 
telling me what the fuck you do with my life. And if you ever talk about my family again, I'm going to leave you the fuck out. God tells you. I'm going to leave you the fuck out. No, 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 no. I agree with you. You're not obeying God. You're not. You're not. I will put my fucking hands in the ground right now and listen to you. If you talk about my family again. I said, I'm worried about your family. I told you to go be a man to your family. I will, and I have been. No, you're not. You know you're not. right. You don't know. Don't be a hypocrite. Because I just had a story passed away. You think you know about my family? Don't be a hypocrite. Because you know the Lord. You think you know everyone's family? I told you the right thing. Everyone that you talk to, you think you know the right thing. Have I done you wrong? Bear witness. Bear witness of the evil. Don't sit here and act like you know I haven't said anything against your family. Don't ever know my family again. I haven't said anything. You said you have it. Oh, you know you have it. That's your fucking problem. Your own problem. conscience bears witness, young man. You know I haven't said anything against your family. I never said that you did. Okay, good. What I'm saying is that... Then go repent, because right now you're putting it at risk. Well, then let's do it right now. Go let's repent. do it right now. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Right. You want to repent right now? You want to right? Yep. Are you being stopped? Getting drugs, smoking. Do you guys believe that I feel a shoe in these stupid eyes? Okay. Then bow down. What's keeping you to getting closer? I don't love you. I don't do that. I love you. 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 I love Yes. Yeah, I can't. You can stop. You don't no, need to cut. no, I can't. I can't stop cussing. Okay. You're right. All I all things do what? Christ is strength. Christ gives me strength. Okay. Like the Lord in me. Yeah. Now, I love you, man. And I have I to do, do all what things I, through I Christ. Have to you do what I just did earlier because somebody did that for me when I was in college. But you know what the cool part is that I've talked to people like you and they stand down, but you did. You held your ground, and that's why I'm here. Okay. Right. Spending my sins. Let's pray. I'm, 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 I'm going to pray for you, and I want you to pray. Okay. Just yeah. Heavenly yeah. Father, I thank you for this humility, God. I thank you, God, that. Father God says that that you are a patient Father God. You forgive God when we don't deserve it, Lord. I thank you that Weston stood here in the fire right now and he didn't look me in the eye, God. And he didn't back down either, God. And he came to the, this place right now, God. And I see godly sorrow in him that wants to work repentance unto salvation, Lord. And he, he received the word. He let me speak the word to him, God. And I thank you, Father, that, that God, you are merciful and you do a deal with our hearts. And I just pray you bless him, Lord God. Bless him. Only you can deliver the captives. Only you can grant us repentance, Father. It's not of works that we would boast, God. It's by grace that we're saved. I yes, pray that you just forgive West and help him with his tongue, God. Please, I pray. I pray that if he does cuss, if, if, Lord, that you would convict him and he would just, just do every effort, God. And keep him away from drugs. Keep away from alcohol. Keep away from cigarettes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, just, just take the desire away like you did me. I smoked for years. I did drugs. I used to be a drug I used to look at porn. I used to be after with. Hey, you can, you, you can do it for me. You'll do it for him. God, I see it in the spirit, God. I see that you will do this for him exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Oh, there's no eye has seen, no ears, sir, no into the heart of man. Well, no, God has prepared for those who yes, love him. Sir. This man has talents. Worship talents. He uh, giftings and these things that you want to use them for. I pray that you would just do more for him than what he even knows. Thank you so much. Help him, God. I can't do what only you can do, Holy Spirit. So I intercede for him. I pray for him and thank you for him. Weston, my brother, I, I believe for him, God. Thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Weston, just, just Amen. confess and pray to him right now. Thank you. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this time in Daytona where one one trip thinks you to lead to another and you think you know you might be coming down here to disgrace you and not do what you believe in and what I believe in and you turn me one way I go one I go up one street and my whole life my whole life changes very very dramatically and I couldn't I know that's you know, I couldn't do that with my own human hands either, could they? That's the work of your hands, Lord. And uh, just like I say, First National Birch, you know, it's it's not about what what's going on in your life right now. It's not about what you've done for us. It's not about any of that. It's about what we believe in you and what you'll do in our lives. It's not about what's going on right now. It's about what you'll be able to accomplish in our lives if we put our hands down to you and, and accept you. And I agree with that 100%, Lord. And I, and, and I, I bow down to you with these men who have 
change me tonight, honestly, truthfully, Amen. not in a fake way, because it's there's, there's no fake that you can't fake this, Lord. You can't, because it's it's one way in and there's one way out, and through your gates and through your love, it's that's the one way in, and I don't think any of us want to want want a way out. I think we want one way in, and we want to stay in for a very very long time. But dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for these grown men that came into my life today. Thank you for this bar who showed me that I don't need this every day. I don't need the alcohol. I don't yes. need the drugs. I don't need it every day in my life. What I need is love from my parents, my yes. family, my yes. friends who are also wards and saviors. It's Sunday. It's your it's your day, Lord, right now. It's Sunday. It's your Lord. And it might be even Monday. It might be past 12 o'clock, but it doesn't matter because every day is your day. Yes. Every day is your day. And when you really believe in the true word of Christ, you know that when you wake up, you believe in something, you worship something, you put your hands up to something, it's in you. It doesn't matter what day it is. And to that, I will get down right now, and I will tell you that my hands are to you until the day I die. And hopefully when I die, you open up those gates, and I'm welcome in. And I couldn't be grateful for these guys, this place in Daytona Beach, to have a great time with my friends, with these guys, and meet them. But when I when my time has come, it's time. Let's go, boys. Just follow me real quick here. Of course, man. Thank you, Father. God, just teach him the fear of God. I know he knows about you, God. I know, Father, he is a man that desires you. And I know that, Lord, he has a hunger and thirst for righteousness. God, teach him what you taught me in my deathbed eight years ago. God, no one taught you, no man did. The Holy Spirit, as he says, God, we would be iron sharpens iron. Yes, sir. But only the Holy Spirit can teach us the things that are spiritual. Yeah. Amen. Praise of the living God. Praise of the living God. How you doing, guys? Hope that's on video. Hey, no, that's going to encourage a lot of people here. Listen, this is our YouTube channel. Awesome. That testimony is going to be thousands of people here. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, so now you guys are awesome. You have to be an example to the people. Who are oh, and I will be. But hey, let me tell you something. These guys are awesome. Not if you not ever not have not a problem in your life, not not Jesus. 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 Jesus is awesome yeah, working boy. through these guys, and it's we, fucking. We want to use my language. It's freaking it's incredible. It's exactly. incredible. They're awesome guys. They will work in your life. Imagine Jesus walking on earth because that's what they're doing. Honestly, it's incredible. They moved in my life. Hopefully, I moved in theirs. Watch their videos. It's incredible. They will work in you like you never thought it could be working. And there's an email address now. Yeah. I will reach out to that. That's been incredible. I really appreciate it. I'm going to get my boys out of there. We're going to go Thank you very much. It's Adam from Team Jesus Preachers here. How's everyone doing? Um, just making a video here, giving some highlights to our most amazing missions trip to Daytona Beach, Florida, spring break 2018. So just got back um, last night, praise God, safe and sound. Uh, you know, this trip here was a special one. Um, just to kind of give some history on this. I had uh, visited Daytona Beach, uh, I think it was three years ago. It was only one other time I've been there besides this uh, most recent trip. And it was a trip where I had gone up there and visited with Kerrigan Skelly and uh, Buddy Fisher. A couple other brothers came down. It was a magnificent trip. And, um, you know, I just had held that in my heart. I, I put some of that preaching on my channel uh, from that trip. But that trip I really held in my heart. Uh, it was a special time. And, you know, going back this year, I was really asking the Lord that this would be also a special time, and you know, especially for the people we're ministering to, and and, and the new brothers too, who were able to come and uh, be a part of this trip. So, I'm going to give a couple of highlights right now, as you can see from the title of the video here. Six people gave their lives to the Lord. Um, they were either backsliding Christians and they came back to God, or they gave their life to the Lord for the first time. So, hallelujah, praise God. Um, you know, I'll just give the uh, the names of these people so you can pray for them. Uh, there was a young man named Weston. Uh, he gave his life to the Lord. Um, and then uh, there was a young woman named Dominique. Also uh, gave, her life to, gave her life to the Lord. She actually came uh, out of the bar after a brother, I think Brother Orlando, gave her a track. And she came out crying, just saying that the fear of God had fell on her when she was inside that bar. Just thinking about uh, the track that she was given and, and how she didn't belong there and how it was just so evil in that bar. And she came out crying, just giving her, wanting to give her life to the Lord. And Raina and I had a chance to minister to her and pray with her. It was amazing. 
Uh, there was another young man with um, uh, dreads. His name was Juan. Uh, you can see from uh, the live stream video from the from the night preach. Uh, that, that video starts off with Brother Richard and um, uh, I think Brother Daniel was praying for um, praying for that young man Juan. And then there was um, there was also uh, two other young men um, who Brother Richard had ran into on the pier. Um, uh, he he said that their names were really difficult, so he uh, didn't didn't couldn't remember their names. They were like uh, just weird African names. He couldn't remember them. But anyways, just pray for these two young men on the uh, on the pier. And uh, and then the last one is uh, this young woman named Jess. Jess is her name. She um, she gave her life to the Lord. Um, uh, just came over to Brother Matthew um, one night when we were out there at the bar preach and just broke down and. She was crying, and you can actually see that video on Matthew's uh, YouTube channel. Matthew Meineke is, um, is, is, is is his YouTube channel. Um, and so it was just amazing. Those were six souls. There were many more um, who broke down and, and either returned to the Lord or gave their lives to the Lord. So them. it's just a glorious thing that God does during this time. We get excited. I, I believe that's one of the reasons why God led me here to Fort Myers and to Florida. Uh, is because of things like spring break. It's a hub. It's a, people come from all over the country. People that we would uh, otherwise never see because they don't live here. So, praise God for this work, this mighty work, Daytona Beach, uh, Florida. You'll see a lot of the video of what took place on this trip. Um, even right now, we'll put a couple clips up right now. God bless you guys. We love you. Thanks for your support. We'll be uh, in contact. Amen. Praise God. There was a guy last night who was the head of the EMS. His name is John. He approached me last night when I was outside of the 509 Club, and he said these words to me. He said, I've been 38 years. I've been the head of the EMS department. I'm a born-again Christian. I've seen your YouTube channel. I love Jesus Christ. I support what you're doing. He said, Adam, he said, four people have lost their lives at Bike Week so far. Four people died on their motorcycles. They crashed their motorcycles, and they lost their lives. And he said that they weren't wearing helmets and they were using alcohol and they lost their lives. And guess what he said to me? He said, you know what? We're the ones who take them to the morgue. And he said, it's worse than that, Adam. He said, there's young college students that we find in the streets, he said, and we take them to the morgue too. And I cried inside because I saw the look in his eyes. Because he said, I wish that these young college students would know what I know and what I see what I see. They brought up college in the Bible. They that man the has Bible. been carrying college students to the morgue for 38 years and you guys don't see it you guys don't care you don't care about the dead bodies on the side of the street who have OD'd who have overdosed with drugs who have who yet drink too much alcohol died and that day turn a spring break was it worth it oh they were judged by God they were judged by God oh it's the end for them but you're still alive you're still alive. They brought up God. God brought up college students in the Bible. You're still alive. In the Bible. Living dogs in a dead life. brought up college students in the Bible. The day in the Bible, life. God brought up college students. better than the day of life. You're fucking they wrong. Birth. You're a fucking wrong. The living wrong. will take it to heart. They they the the living will take it to heart. And you will ever fucking You better take it to heart. You better take it to heart when someone dies. You better take it to heart when they come into that school and they shoot those kids. When those demon possessed, porn watching, marijuana smoking, de are you overcome with evil? Evil people come and shoot up your family members. And you think it's what? You think what is the cause of these things? Oh man, I tell you, it's the things that you're doing. It's the very things that you're looking at. It's the very things you're listening to that cause people to do those types of acts. And you do, you act like it. You act like we need gun control. You act like we need gun control. You act like we need a transvestite bathroom. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Word of Life. The Bible says it says, in the book of Hebrews says it says, the law appoints men who have weaknesses, but the Word of the Oath appoints the Son. The Word of the Oath appoints the Son who lives forever. You know, who's the Word of the Oath? Who's the, who's the Son? Huh? Jesus Christ is the Son. You got weakness, man. You said God said about law appoints. But when God was around, there was no yeah, no, 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 the EMS guy told me. The EMS leader told me. Telling you the EMS guy, he wasn't lying to me. The EMS guy wasn't lying to me. 
He saw the dead bodies of the college students. He picked them up and took them to the morgue. I want to argue. No, no, no. Thank you for your encouragement. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay. Okay. Can I give you some? Can I slap him? No, no. He got the cops right there. You should do anything. You don't have to give me nothing. No, no. I want you to. I want you to have this. This is just a card. Yeah, I like the scratches, eyes all through. No, no, man. They don't don't repay evil. No, I know. You repay evil with good. But it's always no. It's all about Jesus. Man. Here. It's always good to check, know that somebody's this. in your back. Check this I got out. Your back. No, no, no. I got the Holy Spirit. I'm getting my life for these. I know that. They don't know. I know that. Live for Jesus, man. I just got a friend. Oh, I know. Sir, sir, your church is in the way you got saved, you know? No, it's, it's a new heart. Born again. Uh, no, no, no. Are you with us? Are you with us? No, no, you're not a Christian. Okay? You're, you're trusting, man. You're with the people who come. You're imitating what is evil, the Bible says. Don't do that. you got to imitate Jesus. Does Jesus cuss? Does Jesus get drunk? Does Jesus? Yeah, I want people to start thinking. Yeah, I do. You need to hear. i, I got to give you attention because you're a hypocrite in your sin. You're a lukewarm. You're not a hypocrite. Yeah, no, 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 Okay. So is this music the author of life? Is this going to give you life? Is this going to satisfy you with eternal life, abundant life? Is this song, this rap song, is this the meaning of life, huh? Is this, is this the one who gives life, saves life? Forgives people of their sin, huh? No, 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 I'm professing to you the one who's going to abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit. What kind of spirits have you been giving into right now? What are these spirits, huh? What are these spirits? You ever thought about that? Look, look, the eye is the lamp of the body. The eye. If you got a bad eye, your whole body is full of darkness. I got light inside of me. My eyes are full of light. See, I'm not hiding nothing anymore. Hey, man, you're hiding. You're hiding. You don't want to be known what you're up to. You got to come to the light, man. You're hiding. You're still hiding. Guys, you only come to the light when you come to Jesus Christ. Hey, are you guys happy with this? No. No, you're going to be hiding. You're going to be hiding. The Bible says they're going to cry to the rock because they're going to say, fall on us. Hey, you ever thought about this day? The day of the Lord? Hey, you're going to die. You're going to stand before us. You can't get around it. You're not going to get around it. They're all going to die. Yeah, they are. But I got a promise from the Almighty. I do too, man. No, no, not in your sin. Please don't have a promise. Guys. Oh, man. Something is speaking to me, like something is there, and it spoke to me, and like, yes, drinking and all that stuff, it's, it's going to make you feel fun, don't get me wrong, but... Whenever I spoke with him and I spoke with Jesus, there's nothing like to describe it. Like you really do feel like a new person. And it may, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel better. I feel something did take place tonight. I encourage you to read the Word of God. Seek God. I want that. Have a personal walk with God to where you're not afraid to tell your friends. I'm not going to follow you. I don't want to be afraid to tell my friends. Because my, you know, my friend that was telling your friend off, she's Catholic. She, but she believes, you know. Follow Jesus. She's angry. You love God. You're a child of God. You're a daughter of God. You're not the same. That's why I'm telling you. And I go out. I go out and drink and do all these things. But like I, I see that. I want. I want. You want to change. You know, God started that change tonight. God started that change. You know, our thing, you should know that you are right with God. If you were to die right now, you would be in the presence of God. You know what I'm saying? Now we love you. That's what the change is. Don't 
Jesus loves you. He's dealing with you. He loves you. He hasn't given up on you. He has not given up on you. He'll never give up on you. He's not going to give up on you. He'll never give up on God. He'll never give up on God. It wasn't me that did it. It wasn't me, it was God. It was Jesus. He's the one you need to see. People don't put their hands on the Lord of the Blake. He's better in this guy. Let him know how much more he's got. Thank <laughs> you. 